Hey, this is Myla from the last contest video. As a reward for her bravery, she may participate in this challenge. And today's challenge is... Can I survive RimWorld on an island without arms or legs? Good luck, Myla. There she is, Myla. All alone, on an island, with her arms and legs removed, a not so great skill set, just trying to stay alive. She first assessed her surroundings, found some useful items, and found some potential dangers. One major problem with the island is that it's pretty hard to defend. There's almost no natural choke points and enemies can come from every direction. The first priority was food because Myla was pretty hungry. So we placed the stockpile zone and started harvesting sea sponges. And soon after that found out you can't eat sea sponges. I guess we're able to eat this, right? Yep, she's nothing there. Okay, let's uh, cancel these ones. After that disappointment, we found out that the whole island was literally loaded with Devil's Claw and coconuts. More than enough to sustain Myla for a long, long time. The only problem here is that because she only has two steel arms and a low plant skill, harvesting these coconuts took her a long time. Actually, because of her having only steel arms, everything takes a long time. This is taking so long. After some hours of woodcutting, Myla created a campfire, cooked up some coconut meals, and at 3 a.m. went to sleep in the sand. After a night of sleeping in the open, Myla was determined to get a roof above her head. She spent the whole of the second day chopping, 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 and chopping even more wood. Then, before she could start building the base, she had a mental break, which lasted longer than a whole day. Her low manipulation and slow walking speed made it hard to construct the base. She was just too slow and kept botching the constructions. And then, after a few days of barely surviving, disaster struck. Myla was incapacitated from food poisoning. We had to wait it out. But in the meantime, she was a free kill for any hungry animal or raider. Luckily, she recovered before anything tried to eat her. Okay, she's recovering. Oh gosh. That was awful. Okay, what? After recovering from the food poisoning, she continues to work on the hut, which took another two full days. But then she finally had a safe place to stay. Yes. Last one. Oh yeah, okay. In the next few days, life was good on Myla. She got some visitors, fought off a blind raider. He's blind. Got some traders passing by. Hello. And even attempted to start some farming. I can't even plant it, okay. Another trader stopped by, but had some difficulty feeding themselves. Which Myla turned into a little profit. Oh wait, I can sell back the bow. Wow, it's gonna make me rich. With everything going so well, she could focus on expanding the base. Time for a stone cutting bench. The only available material to make it out of was some steel lying in the water nearby. After a few long days of wheelchair hauling the steel to the blueprint, it was finally time to construct it. Come on, don't f*** this up. Oh. And suddenly our first potential new pawn showed up. A deserter from the Shattered Empire followed by one of his former brothers in arms. 
the Shattered Empire would hate us from letting him join, but having someone around that has four friggin' limbs is worth a lot more to Myla right now. And now it's time to have some fun. And like that, we managed to kill that piece of empire scum. Oh, sorry, uh, Kurt Cock. Kurt. Kurt. Yeah, Kurt it is. Almost immediately after Kurt joined, both he and Myla got a mental break and then got raided. Kurt broke out of his mental break just in time to save the day. Oh my god, he's out of his mental state. Go. How could you miss that? Times were good. Traders still had problems feeding themselves, and Myla and Kurt decided to not help them, but reap the rewards afterwards. Kurt's working capabilities made building the base a lot easier, and in a few days they finished the base expansion. And soon after that, expanded even more. Myla and Kurt decided to tame some kiwis to keep them company on the island. And while building the kitchen, they took the first step towards proper human civilization. Electricity. Setting up the kitchen and freezer should really help improve the efficiency here. By using coral as stone, they also managed to make themselves personal bedrooms. Some raiders seemed to be interested in the immense wealth Myla and Kurt accumulated. But they were no match for our fearsome warriors. Teresa had some points in researching. Reason enough to imprison her. Oh yeah, totally forgot about Kiyoshi, a hedgehog we were asked to look after. Luckily he survived and Afton, an android, joined us as a reward. Welcome Afton! Lucky us! Afton has amazing skills! This is gonna be great! The cutting of coral into stone blocks turned out to be Myla's new hobby and soon there was enough to finally build a research table. The first step to getting Myla some new shiny bionic limbs. The extra hands made surviving on the island a lot easier. Batteries were researched, which improved the food storage. Kurt managed to kill the huge frickin' snake thing. And they got some more floors and even paths going. After that, they even managed to make a dedicated storage room. The cherry on top of the cake was our prisoner Theresa joining, and very soon after a random girl named Conrad oh. joined. Conrad joined. And then it was time for a tribal raid. Boom. There were only a few archers, and the water really did a good job of slowing the rest of the raiders down. The raid was a great success. He had 15 herbal medicine with him? 15? Oh my gosh, that's great. Oh man, I want them all. <laughs> okay. Uh... The catch was so huge that the prison needed to be expanded and the food policies needed some adjustment. But after this triumph, things seemed to go downhill for the colony. Conrad had some enemies she never told us of, who wanted to take revenge on her. They installed a toxic spewer that filled the air around the colony with poison, causing toxic buildup on everyone walking outside. Before we could react, Afton suddenly died because of a faulty pump. Afton! Oh, we couldn't get a pump for him on time. Oh, gosh. 
That, that really sucks. Therefore, losing one of our most productive pawns. And sadly, that wasn't the last misfortune coming our way. While Myla was still recovering from another android raid, the colony got besieged. Kurt and Teresa were the only ones capable of wielding a weapon at this moment. They tried to destroy the siege equipment, but that didn't really work out. 